While most foreigners fled Haiti two weeks ago during the political unrest, our next guest, a former Playboy bunny, flew to the eye of the storm to save thousands of children in danger. Susie Kreibacher is the president and co-founder of the Foundation for Worldwide Mercy and Sharing, and she joins us from Denver. And Susie, it's not your first trip to Haiti, is it? No, I've been going there for 11 years now, All right. in April. All right, explain why you have gone from Playboy Bunny to going to Haiti all the time and helping those children there. Not Playboy Bunny, Greta. All right, I what is it? Centerfold. So, what was it, a what? I was a centerfold. I but, apologize. Uh, you know. Okay, you were a centerfold. My apologies. I'll get that right. That's okay. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I was uh, in the foster care system for many years in Alabama. Uh, after being abused sexually by my grandfather for uh, from the, the time I was a toddler until I was a teenager and um, I just swore that when I was um, old, a grown-up that I would make sure that if I could in any way help children who are suffering I would do something about it and of course uh, you've, you've invested a lot of your own money from these children right absolutely my husband and I uh, wanted to form a foundation which is one of a handful I think in uh, in in the US at least in the US that 100 percent of donations go to the kids um, there's a lot of opportunity to help in Haiti because it's close a um, I didn't even graduate high school so it was very hard for me to get uh, a job with the Peace Corps or with CARE or Red Cross but uh, when I first started I had twelve thousand um, dollars to, to do something and um, we've been able to help tens of thousands of children in Haiti with just a small amount of money we have eighteen hundred and eighty nine children now and uh, we still give 100% of every single dollar donated to the kids. My husband and I and our, our other four board members pay for every single dime of the overhead. None uh, of us make a salary. How much time a year do you usually spend in Haiti helping these children? Um, I'm there about half the time. I'm, I spend six months uh, in the U.S. raising money and then the other six months in Haiti with my kids. All right. And you've also even got some health problems being there helping these kids, haven't you? Well, uh, I've had uh, dengue fever. Uh, I had a really bad case of lice the first time I went because I didn't know to protect myself from that. Um, I've had uh, a lot of little problems, but I've been very blessed that I've never been in any way infected uh, in a, a terminally ill way. It, we have a lot of children with AIDS and... S Susie, um, what, uh, you know, wh why do you do this? You love these children? adore them. Uh, they can make the common man feel like a king. Um, these kids are my soul strength and my reason for living, the reason that I believe I was born. We have 62 children right now that are terminally ill. Um, oh, sorry, I lost my earpiece here. Let me just put that back in. We have 62 children that are terminally ill. We have um, over 150 that are healthy um, and we believe will probably get adopted. Uh, we have six schools and we're opening hopefully in May uh, depending on funding our first um, prenatal care clinic because in Haiti one of the biggest sources of um, uh, maternity uh, mortality is women dying in childbirth due to hemorrhages, uh, due to infection uh, because only 10 percent of them are born uh, or, or have birth with a doctor present or any medical care. Susie, it's an amazing story. You do a great job. Thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you.